Hey everybody, it's Monday morning, I just came down and got the lights turned on. Uh, today's the day I'm probably going to get in here and start tearing out this waterfall. I'm going to talk more about it later. Uh, I've got lots of good suggestions from people and I've had a lot of ideas myself. I've got some more clarification I want to do as far as what I'm, you know, my goals are with this. Uh, I'm actually looking over at one of my fish that doesn't look none too healthy right now. Like I said, I just got the lights turned on, so this is my morning look. And it looks like my angelfish over there is not doing well. But I got all this junk in the floor right now, so I can't get to it without walking all the way around. So we're going to do that. But in the meantime we are going to go drain the water out of this thing so I don't know how well this is going to turn out or not because of the darkness under here but this bottom section you can see how much water is still standing in it I've actually got water I don't know if you can see my hand or not but the water is like to here and I can't get it out so what we're going to do is just poke a hole And we're going to let that water drain out of there as best we can. Uh, the only thing I poked a hole in was the shower curtain liner. And I think I paid $4 for it or something. So it's probably going to get trashed and ruined in the process of taking it out of here anyway. So I'm not too terribly worried about it. Um, I'll be able to salvage all of the PVC, although I don't know what I'm going to do with it just yet. But I will have it. I'll have all my joints and fittings and connections and everything. So I'll be able to rebuild something else. But I'm going to start over with the waterfall idea. We're going to go in a slightly different direction. In the meantime, I am going to say that that is definitely not good looking. That is a nearly dead angelfish and it's still alive i can see it twitching but i'm not sure what's going on and if you see right I'll try to point to it with the zoomed in like this right there that little white stuff sort of sticking out it almost looks like it's dealing with some sort of scales that are starting to come off or the skin starting to come off right there i don't know but that angelfish definitely does not look healthy Everybody else in the tank looks just fine. And I will also note, for those of you who follow along with this tank, uh, you'll know that for a while I was talking about having one of my pearl garamis was being bullied by the bigger and healthier pearl garami. And for the last four or five days I've been looking and looking and looking and I've yet to find even the remnants of the smaller pearl garami in there. So I think the small pearl garami is gone. And we no longer have that one in the tank at all. The loach has probably devoured its body after it died. And then now, it's out of the blue, I've got a dying angelfish in there. I have no idea what's going on with that angelfish. It was fine yesterday. Uh, this tank has not been neglected. It looks a little, um, you know, covered in growth and stuff on the inside. But I just did a big water change and cleaned out the filter and did a bunch of stuff in this tank about four or five days ago so it's not a neglected tank in any way and I don't know why my angelfish is suddenly not with us anymore but it happens sometimes especially when you buy uh, you know two dollar angelfish at the big chain pet store they're hit or miss usually if you can get them past the first couple of weeks they're fine and that one's probably not even a year old yet and it's probably if it makes it through today i'll be surprised it's still alive so i'm gonna leave it in there um but we'll see what happens like i say by the end of the day if it's not doing any better uh, i might have to get it out and euthanize it and i just saw my striped raphael stick his head out for a moment and put it back in so all right everybody that was just my quick morning uh, update here today don't know how my day is going to progress i got some work i got to get caught up on and uh, I don't know how much I'm actually going to get done later here in the fish room this afternoon. But this is all starting to come down today. Hopefully, at least I'll get all this lining and shell and all this stuff 
you know this is just foam i can just lift this off and break it apart but that's what's going to have to happen all this stuff's getting torn up broken up and it's going to get downsized uh considerably not necessarily shorter but narrower um it's one thing to sort of think about dimensions in your head you know i'll make it this wide and this many inches tall etc and then when you actually get the whole thing put together and start looking at it and you see how much room it actually takes up in the basement here uh, i was starting to scare myself with this thing it was a bit of a monstrosity so we're gonna scale down but we're not going to make it any less exciting or cool when it's done so bear with me we're getting there uh, there's a reason i usually don't do behind the scenes kind of stuff because there's a lot of failures that never make it to video this is a failure that did make it to video so now you all are stuck having to watch me work out my issues and see if we can't get this thing sorted out so make sure you're subscribed that way you won't miss any updates you won't miss any updates i got on any of my tanks coming up i will be shooting some more video of my tanks and not just focusing on this uh, at some point i promise this has just been what i've been kind of obsessed with the last few four or five days something like that so anyway make sure you're subscribed you won't miss anything else thanks for watching this one and i'll see you real soon on the next one